What's up, guys? It's Schwa. We're here on 10 and 60 with Ryan Woods. Question one. Do you still sleep with a stuffed animal or a blankie? Dude. I got I got something to show you. <laughs> this is my guy. This is my guy from uh I think I was three when I got this dude. Wow. His name's Coco. Dope. He's been been around the ringer. Yeah, he's he's really chill. Hell yeah. Really chill, chill guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Uh I was born in Orlando, Florida. Um, but I was pretty much raised in Knoxville, Tennessee from the time I was eight. And then, yeah. Dope. First time you picked up an instrument. Ooh, I don't know. I was really, really young. I was, I was still living in Florida and, um, it was actually like a church thing. Uh, this guy was giving guitar lessons that I went to church with. And I think I was like five or six, but like I always saw him on stage, like playing like worship and stuff, and like he was just shredding on the guitar, and I was like, I wanna, I wanna do that. So um, I, yeah, I started taking guitar lessons from him, and then I did them for like six months, pretty much, and then I moved to Knoxville, and I ended up. I think I like left my guitar or like sold it or something, but um, I didn't pick up music again until I was in fifth grade, and I joined band at school. Oh yeah! And that was my re-entry, I that's, guess. That's what's my up. second coming. There you go. <laughs> First concert. First concert. Um, it was a band called Judah and the Lion at the Bijou Theater in Knoxville, Tennessee. I think I was 14. Hell yeah. Bit, uh, biggest musical influence? Ooh, this, this is a tough one. Um, I'd say most consistently, the person I've looked up to the most is John Mayer, mostly just because he kind of embodies everything I want to be as an artist and... Like he he's made like beautiful art and beautiful songs, and uh, on the biggest scale, and like that I just think he's so cool and so talented. I love his mind, like his brain is just very, so valuable. He's a legend, yeah. yeah. But um, that was like my first like person. I started when I started listening to music. That was one of my very first saved songs on Spotify. It was like his cover of EXO. Okay. If you if you ever heard that, yep. but I was like obsessed with that for some reason, and that was like my first Spotify like rabbit hole. I went and dove into John Mayer. Dope, dude. He's amazing. Yeah. Best album or song of all time. Best album or song of all time. Um. Who? Can I do like a? two yeah can i give you two yeah uh okay so my first two are space song by beach house which is on their album depression cherry which is just my one of my favorite albums of all time talking about it now so yeah you know (laughs) it's up there for sure and then the other one that i couldn't get to beat the other one was george harrison um all things must pass um that song and that whole record is also very iconic to me it's amazing yeah um if you could eat one cuisine the rest of your life what would it be one cuisine uh dude pizza because pizza is versatile you, get you can everything. put a lot of shit on pizza. You get veggies, you get protein. Yeah, you, you get got carbs. vegan pizza. You can put, yeah, you can make veggie pizza. Like, uh, I knew this lady who used to make it. It was literally veggie pizza, and it was like the dough, but it was with like, I think like ranch or something, and like, like really healthy, like just vegetables and like a little bit of cheese on it, and it, it was, was like bomb. a. It was pretty bomb, dude, but yeah. it was weird because it looked so weird because it was, like, cold and, like, you know, like, the little, like, 
grocery store like s- vegetable samplers or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was really like that kind of like vegetable, just like on top of like pizza and ranch. Sometimes but it's I, smacked. Yeah, dude. Sometimes I see pizza, I'm like, I don't know about that. And then I have a bite, I'm like, holy shit. Dude, I'm good. This I'm not much of like a picky like pizza person, but I love pizza so much that like pizza is pretty much just pizza to me. Like where there's like I don't know, yeah, like bro. I don't care. Some people are really like like polarized on like oh they don't like little caesars but they prefer papa john's or whatever you know like but i don't care i think yeah, all pizza i think each place makes there are pizza there are some shitty pizzas there definitely is yeah and but we have a good yeah. pizza bro but you know like yeah. if you go to a place that sells pizza and you order the pizza nine times out of ten it's gonna be like decent pizza you know it's <laughs> yeah. not that hard to fuck up it really isn't, but people do fuck it up. They do. Um, favorite snack. Favorite snack. Um, really, I've been on an apple kick. I just apple go grab an apple. Apple keeps the doctor away. That's right. <laughs> um, what would you do without music? Without music. That's one of those questions where I'm just like. I don't know. There's a there's a lot of I have a lot of interests other than music. Like I'm super into photography. Like I shoot a lot of film and stuff like that. And then like I also I love to like paint and stuff just for fun. It's a oh, hobby. Yeah. yeah. Um so like it, I think it'd still definitely be like a fine art, but as far as like what specifically, I don't know. Totally okay. But and Give me three feelings about how you currently feel about 2020. Three feelings. Um, Like just like one word. It's like hopeful or sad. I got you. Um, Almost there. Um, Happy, sad. There you go. 10 and 60, Ryan Woods. Yeah. Yahoo!